Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So today I want to talk about some cool horses that there are in BDO and if you want to have a horse like this or like this or maybe even like this and just continue watching the video because this guide is all about how to get a tier 9, what tier 9s are there and which one is the best. If you have any further questions feel free to hop onto my Twitch whenever I'm live and ask me there. I'm also gonna put some timestamps down below so you can jump to whatever part you need in the video. And with that being said, let's go. So first of all, I want you to know is that yes, you can buy T9s from the market. It is an option, they're quite expensive. It's 10 to 12 bill. And if you don't really wanna invest that, you can just go for it yourself. And how you can do that, you're gonna see in the rest of the video. So one of the first things you actually need to go for a tier 9 is a tier 8 courser. What does courser mean you ask? Well it's pretty easy, your horse needs to have specific skills. And for a tier 8 that is charge, drift, sprint, instant axle, sideways, S instant axle and S sideways. If you don't have a courser yourself there is two options available for you. You can either go to a stable keeper in a big city, go to the horse market and buy one. What can be kind of expensive for like a newcomer to this game since there are like 800 mil. Or the other option is you actually breed it yourself. If you actually want to breed the tier 8 yourself I want to introduce you real quick to fam something lovely side. It is a really great side. It has the whole map of BDO with all the nodes and everything on it. And it also has a horse calculator on it. What means you can go there, you can set what horse you have, what male you have, what female horse you have. And you can also set their level and you actually will see the chances on uh, the horses you can get. What can be pretty handy when you actually want to breed them yourself. And what you also can see is what horse patterns you can get with the ones you have. What might be interesting for someone that wants to go, for example, for a pure breed or whatsoever. So if you actually decided to breed tier 8 yourself and you now have a t level 1 tier 8 in front of you, you have to train it to level 30 max XP. And there is a pretty easy method on how to like save some money and get a really high chance on a courser. And I quickly want to introduce you to that. What you want to do is just level your horse until you get the skill Hindkick, Fortrop and Caution. Whenever you have those three skills, you can start re-rolling them. Which means with every level up, you will re-roll one of those skills. Let's say my horse is level 15, it has those three skills, so I'm going to re-roll Caution on it right now. And there is a really high chance that it's going to get Caution back on the next level. Why is it like that? Because these three skills have the highest chance on getting relearned. What does that mean in the end? I'll get a horse that will probably have a new skill with every level up. So that means I have a really high chance on getting a horse with all of the skills uh, within those 30 levels. And I also gotta say that it's a pretty money saving method because I never had to use more than four or five skill change coupons on those horses. What is pretty nice. And just a quick info for you for your tier nine later. The training method is in general the same, the only difference is the skill because with the T9s you will reroll the Courser Spirit all the time and not the previous three ones. So after you got your tier 8 Courser ready, you need to get the actual materials for the Awakening attempt. Where can you get them? You can either buy them from the market or you can get them through various tasks in BDO. In general there is two materials per tier 9. Arduinat is the Pegasus, Dine is the Unicorn and Doom is the Hell Horse. You can simply read through the description of the item and you'll see which tier 9 they are for. Um, Pegasus is from Farming and Imperial Delivery. Unicorn you get from Hunting and from uh, Fishing. And the Doom materials you get either from Gathering or from Kama Dailies or from Grinding in Kama Sylvia. So those are like the easier ones. How many of those you need depends on which tier 9 you want to go for, but you'll see that later. And the last thing you will need is 100 Krons and 1 Crocdalo Origin Stone. And that's basically all you need for a tier 9 attempt. After you gathered all your materials and you also got your horse ready, you gotta move it to a stable where awakening a tier 9 is possible and that's either the stone tail horse ranch in medaya or you go to grana and awakening there 
It doesn't really matter where you go, just take whatever stable is more convenient for you. And then it's already time for your first tier 9 attempt, yay! So if you go into the stable you have your tier 8 in, you want to open the course or training window, uh, which is this one. And in general, for a tier 9 attempt, you will need 200% on top, the Crocodalo stone and maybe the crown stones, what I can really suggest you to use. Um, the different bars are for the different horses, skill is for the Pegasus, elegance is for the unicorn and strength is for the doom. Why is that important for you to know? Because if you overstack one bar, which means you go above 100% on one bar, you have a higher chance on this specific horse. So let's say you really want to have a doom, then you might want to overstack the third bar. Um, when it comes to the items, one item gives you 1%. If you overstack, one item gives you 0.5%. And I really suggest you to use the crown stones in the end, because if you fail, you will only lose half of the materials. Which is the reason why I still have 99% left uh, on this horse, because my last attempt failed, but I used crown stones, so I only lost half of the materials. And when it comes to the fail stacks on the horses, um, whenever you fail, you get one fail stack and it actually adds 0.2% of a success rate on this specific horse, which doesn't sound like a lot, but um, as far as I know, the average is something between like 25 to 30, 35 attempts. So it's not too bad. So now I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit. What you see right now is me just putting in some materials, actually overstacking the first bar because I wanna go for the Pegasus and going for my tier nine attempt. As a last step, I always check that I have the crown stones box uh, ticked and that I have everything in place and then it's go for the tier 9 attempt, what is always a really exciting thing, but sadly this time I failed. F in chat, uh, or in the comments, you know, it's fine, uh, some win, some lose. But if you check the Courser training window now, I still have 99% left because I used the crown stones. I like to try and snipe costumes from the market because those are like the cheapest crown stones you can get and it will save you quite some materials which means you can do more tier 9 attempts in a short amount of time. And that was basically it for the tier 9 attempts. The last thing I want to do in this video is actually show you all three T9s and their special skills so let's go check them out. So the first tier 9 I want to introduce you to is the Pegasus. Pegasus has three skills all three T9 have, which is the Corsa Spirit. That means every tier 9 can regen stamina and HP while being on standby. The double jump, which means they can do a second jump while being mid-air. And the S charge, that basically means they have a second charge after the original charge skill. And Pegasus has two special skills that are only available for Pegasus, which is the Wings of Wind and the Wings of Freedom. That means this horse can glide in the air. So if you jump off from a hill, it will just glide down really smoothly. Um, it looks pretty cool with its flappy wings, that's why it's also called chicken sometimes. And uh, the glide down skill can be a really nice thing when you're just traveling around the world of BDO because it allows you to take several shortcuts and will make your overall movement way smoother. So the next tier 9 I'm going to introduce to you is the Unicorn. Unicorn also has the three typical T9 skills, means it has Corsa Spirit, the Double Jump and the S Charge. And besides those, it also has the Earth of Life and the Earth of Protection. This is basically a buff for you and your allies. It gives you some HP and MP recovery and also some AP, DP and Evasion buff for 30 seconds. 
Many use it in PvP and Node Wars for example or even in Sieges. But not only the skill makes this horse really unique, also its ability to be a fast speedy boy or girl in the desert. You can use all the skills of this horse in the desert. Which means you can do sprint, drift, you can accelerate, you can instant accelerate, everything with it. It makes it really fast to, for example, look for portals like Histria or Akman in the desert. Or if you want to have a fast travel to Valencia or Pilaku because you want to go for the map, then this might be the right horse for you. And to complete all of the three to nines, I'm going to introduce you to the Doom Horse. Doom of course also has the three typical T9 skills, Course of Spirits, Double Jump and S-Charge. Besides those, it also has the Double Seater, which means you can take a second person on the horse with you. And a really cool thing about this horse is that it has a triple instant axle called Dark Spirit. That means it can do another instant axle after the regular two we know already from a tier 8 or a tier 9. And if that wouldn't be enough already, no. It also has an attack called Dark Flame Steps. Dark Flame Steps is basically a 4 chop that will burn the ground underneath its hooves. It deals quite some nice damage and it can also stun your enemies that are in range or for example knock them off their horses. That will be the end of the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope I was able to cover all your questions about the tier 8 and tier 9 horses in BDO. If you have any further questions, feel free to hop into my stream whenever I'm live and ask me there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to my YouTube since there's going to be more in the future. And besides that, I hope you all have a nice and wonderful rest of your day or evening and I hopefully see you soon. Bye!